Hello everybody, my name is Algum, and welcome back to Deathmark. Previously, Mary is dead. Our faithful companion has now been killed. But on the bright side, we defeated Haniyome and started the Mizu case. That last one's probably more terrifying. I'm telling you, it's just as I said before. People who can hear voices are. It's been a lecture from the moment we got in. Most inherited that power from their ancestors. So I'm sure your family has similar powers. It doesn't sound like it'll ever end. I zone out, staring at the road ahead of me. By the way, changing the subject. You've been to H Elementary but once before, haven't you? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. A sudden topic shift and shakes me out of my drowsiness. Could you tell me about your experience? It would be a good point of reference. Sure, I don't mind. I tell her everything that happened with Hanahiko. It only happened a few days ago, but it feels like a lifetime. Eh? What? A few days ago? My... I was under the impression that it's been like a week, you know? Not... not that we completed all of these cases day after day after day. Hmm... I see. She nods repeatedly. There has already been one spirit. And you defeated it. Yeah, basically, you know. <laughs> then if Mizu is in H Elementary, that means two spirits lived separately in the elementary school. Lived separately? Two spirits existing in the same place. Is that even possible? Of course, it's rare for powerful ghosts to live together in the exact same place. That's why I said separately. In Hanahiko's case, was there any area that you weren't able to enter? Now that you mention it, we didn't go to the second floor at all. That decides it then. If Miss Zhu is in the school, she must be there. Asuoka analyzes the situation calmly, as if working with an abacus. Even though her own life is on the line, it doesn't seem to rattle her at all. Yasuoka takes one look at me and smiles like she read my mind. Well, of course I'm scared. No matter my age, I'm still human. I'm just ready to resign myself if it turns out to be impossible. Some things go better once you give up. Is that your advice as a fortune teller? No, as someone who's lived as long as I have. Giving up makes life easier. That's how everyone gets to heaven in the end. Asoka and I arrive at H Elementary. So this is H Elementary, huh? It really looks haunted, like they say. So the second floor is priority? Yeah, that's right. Then let's go. We don't have time to waste. Well, uh, I'm going to assume that there is absolutely nothing to explore on the... You know, the first floor. Poisonous snakes cover the hallway. It'd be foolish to try to keep going. Are you kidding? There are poisonous snakes up here? It'll be fine. If we leave quietly, they won't attack us. I cautiously take a step backwards. 
suddenly the snake shrieked to my bag. Oh, what the? The snakes put their tongues in the air, trying to smell something. After a moment, they begin to leave. They disappear into the darkness of the hall before I can even blink. They vanish without a sound, all at once, as if they had never been there to begin with. They left. What was that? Some sort of trap? I don't know. It looked like the snakes were sniffing my bag. That red notebook is inside. Maybe this smell made them think we were friends? Let's try going down the hallway. I haven't gone this way yet. Oh, is that so? How very exciting. Are you being sarcastic? Oh, never. Going on an adventure at my age will be quite the story to tell in the future. Yasuoka chuckles quietly. Well, I'm glad you're having fun. Long desks and what looks like sinks loom in the darkness of the classroom. This seems to be... This appears to be a science lab. Heh <laughs> uh, this takes me back. Still, though... Yasuoka grimaces. It smells in here. It's an irritating stench that stings the eyes. The putrid smell fills the whole room, like a box of onions has gone rotten. A look comes over Yasuoka's face, like she's remembering something. Almost like... The smell of death. Even so, it's not like we can just leave. Let's get this done quickly so we can move on. Oh, a way to make me feel better about this. There's a talisman in the dusty sink. Oh, sweet. The dusk is scorched. Seems there's more fire damage in here than in the staff room. This is probably where the fire started. Well, there's nothing else here. Um, hmm. Okay, good. I open the cupboard and check inside, but all I find is trash and dust. It's a sturdy wooden cabinet. The cabinet door opens easily. The inside is completely full to bursting with something. I pull it out and discover it's a garbage bag full of shredded paper. I got office trash. You're going to take that with you? What an odd man you are. When I lift up the bag, an unshredded wad of paper falls to the floor at my feet. I open it up and see several complete sentences. Guess they failed to destroy this section. Fragment to I. Alright, what have we got here? At certain sound, sound wave, or must put to sleep, also regarding sight, something will agitate it a to aware of testing. I'm not gonna lie, office trash, just randomly picking that up. Um, don't know who would think to do that. A bit of a reach, but... I grab one and flip through the pages. There are a ton of notes inside, scribbled in thin letters. It seems they're simple explanations for the students. I take out the last book and when I look inside, a scrap of paper falls in between the pages. Oh boy. Now I can die slower. What's in the jar? It's a shelf packed with numerous chemicals. Getting closer, I see some large containers. Oh my god. 
I hear Yasuo could guess behind me. Hands, ears, eyeballs. Body pieces that used to belong to a human are floating in liquid. Perfectly preserved. It can't be. There's no way they'd use these as educational aids. Okay, yeah, thanks for being very obvious about that. They're extremely fresh for being samples. Probably because they were cut from a living body. But it doesn't seem like it's been that long since any of them were severed. You know, I mean, this is probably highly unethical, but it'd be a waste to let jewelry such as that go to waste. Feel it. I know they're not alive anymore, but it takes some measure of courage to search body parts. I stick my hand inside, half closing my eyes, and feel around the shelf. So, is there something there? Well, yeah. I stop myself from voicing my frustration. I can't make Yasuoka do something like this. I search the chemicals, formalin containers, unidentified samples, every nook and cranny. I find a few things I can use. A clear bottle with a liquid inside. It has a label with a chemical formula on it. A brown bottle that has an irritating smell. Its label is rotted and unreadable. And finally, a bottle wrapped in foil. It smells faintly of flowers, but it's likely just some kind of chemical as well. Is that everything? Once I'm done looking around, I stand up. A vinyl bundle in the corner catches my eye. I pick it up and realize that it's a tightly wrapped bundle of clothes. A white coat stands out the most. Must be a lab coat. This is a science lab, so they likely have spare lab coats. Though it is a bit concerning. That rumor about a ghost in white. I and Yasuoka got their marks while filming a TV show about it at K. Miyamachi. And all the other clothes, along with the coat, have been folded meticulously. Is it really just a coincidence? Is it really just a coincidence? Oh, taking a closer look, I notice a large tag on the side of the container. Great Asura, down. The letters are messy, but legible. Great Asura? Down must mean below where we currently are, so... That would be the first floor? Recalling the school's layout, I think there was a similar storage area on the first floor. I'm not sure what it means, but it might be important. I decide to take the tag just in case. Yeah, so there was something more there. You know what, let's feel it. I touch the outside of the model. It feels like it's made out of wood or resin? I can't really tell. Alright, let's take a closer look at this thing. Taking a closer look, I notice a huge tear in its mouth. It's making the mouth look bigger than it should. It's almost like an arm was forcibly shoved down it and it couldn't handle the strain. Alright, let's stick our hand in there then. The mouth might be broken because someone stuck their hand down it. But that means something is hiding, either in the mouth or the torso. I could break it, but then I might break whatever's inside too. Nothing for it but to stick my hand in. I hesitantly slide my hand into the mouth. Something cylindrical is inside. I grab it and try to pull it out. Gah! Snakes! It's a snake head. Roused by the movement, snakes begin pouring out from every crevice. Hurry, step back. I stumble backwards. The snakes slowly retreat back into the model. Seems they live inside it. 
I bet something's hidden in there. But to get it, I'll have to find a way to pacify the snakes. Fantastic. I got just the thing for you. The snakes by the stairs might have moved because of the red notebook. In that case, the snakes here might also. I held the red notebook up to the model. The snakes shift around slightly. But that's all that happens. Hmm, I don't think that will work. It doesn't look like the red notebook is effective. Well, I'm going to assume that that's all we can get out of here. A school broadcast? Do you have any brains? A strange voice echoes over the intercom. Do the test immediately. Table on the table. Static crackles before being cut off. It seems we're being watched. I believe she said the table. Something might be on the desk. Let's take a look. Eh, nah, nah. I don't think I will. The second floor isn't covered in roses like the first. There's no movement and I don't see any plants. I guess the phenomenon didn't happen on this floor. Um. Hmm. And do we have anything here? I can't hear any man-made sounds coming in through the window. Only leaves rustling in the wind. What's in here? Ooh. Hmm. How macabre. There's a plant. Can I take it? A worn-out talisman. Oh, nice to feel warmth in this very cold, dreary school. Something is scrolled on the blackboard. I. Zin. And looks like the letters spell Aizen. There are more after that, but... They aren't legible. Aizen. Asura, I believe. You can read that? Really? That's what that says? It's difficult to explain, but I can see the direction the strokes are going. Following them, that's what it says. Altogether, it's Aizen Asura. Aizen Asura, huh? It's not familiar. Is it the name of a god or Buddha? But why is that written on the blackboard? Really? You don't know Asura? I mean, I've... Flecks of red all over the floor. They smell like iron. Fantastic, it's blood. Anyway, you don't know Asura? I could be misremembering it, but I swear Asura's like the... Essentially the war god, right? Ooh, what have we got here? A jumble of wire is wrapped around the door handle. Um, hmm. Can I do this? I swing the hatchet down on the wire hard. It makes a dull noise, but the blade only puts a dent in the wire. If I don't hit it on top of a hard surface, it'll be hard to cut it. Um, how about this thing? I take the brown bottle out of my bag and stare at the label. It has a usage warning on it, and it smells like chlorine. It could be some sort of strong acid that can melt metal. Yeah, why don't we take another sniff of that? Really corrode our lungs. Should we try it? 
I take off the lid and slowly pour the liquid on the wire. If I accidentally get some on the keyhole, it could be a problem. Don't rush, just a little at a time. There's a faint bubbling noise and a smell that's indescribable. It seems it's working like we hoped. Oh, good job. That must be some kind of nitric acid. Fortune tellers sure do know a lot. Then... I think that should do it. I pull on the wire again. This time it comes out of the keyhole easily. Well done. Now we can check this room. Yeah, let's go. Alright, what have we got in here? Oh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, it's certainly some type of feast, I guess. The instant I open the door, something glints in the darkness. Then a horrible stench makes me choke. This is... blood. Ugh, okay, I don't like the sound of that. Beneath my feet, it feels like I'm stepping in something soft, like mud. I shine my light into the room. What on earth? What the hell is this room? It's as if I stepped into a slaughterhouse. The scene before me is horrific. Organs scattered across the floor. Chunks of meat, an overwhelming amount of blood, and blank, glassy-eyed animal heads lined up across the desks. How terrible. Yasuoka struggles to retain her composure by covering her mouth with a handkerchief. Are they used for... sacrifices? The word sacrificial rite come to mind. But why the hell... Uh, let's check it out. I need to look around. I'm trying to convince myself by saying it twice. Suddenly... There's a sound from the window ledge. Is... someone here? I make my way past the animal heads to peer cautiously at the line of desks near the window. A naked body is lying in a pool of red. Fantastic, I cannot show that. Countless snakes are slithering over her. The woman almost looks like an animal waiting for dissection. Yeah, you can kind of see like in very gross detail all of the organs scattered about. Actually, whoever did this to her might have been planning to do just that. Hey, come help me. Someone's trapped. We grab onto her legs and hurry to drag her out of the swarm of snakes. I'm worried about her snake bites, but I don't see any large wounds. You're fine now. Relax. Asawaka speaks to her, but the woman doesn't reply. Her eyes are half open, staring vaguely. Can't let her die. Let's take her back to the mansion. She should be able to walk if we help her. I agree, but she's completely naked? Eh, fair point. Is this really the time to be worried about that? But speaking of clothes... I just remembered. Here, she can wear this. I unwrap the bundle of clothes and pull out the lab coat for her to wear. All right, I suppose it's better than nothing. <laughs> that place is off limits. Noise from the broadcast reverberates in the room. My flashlight blinks out. The mark's color grows more vivid. Early dawn. A few hours left until death closes in. 
damn it, she noticed. What should we do? We need to get out of here. I know H Elementary's layout pretty well. I should be able to find my way without a light. Oh no, we've got to hurry. Let's hurry her up. Let's help her up. You know, I am really hoping I did not mess things up by not taking the test immediately. Whew. Yeah, so we can take a deep breath from the back seat. It sounds like a world... What the? It sounds like a world weary old person groan. I can sound old if I want to. I am, after all, elderly. Is this what they call a woman's intuition? Or did she just read my mind? Uh, as a woman looks like she'll be okay. I covered her securely with a lab coat, but I still hesitate to look in the rearview mirror. Watch where you're looking. I can understand why you're interested, but... Is this really the time? I'm not trying to look, I promise. I'm clearly doing my best not to. Come on. She's quiet. Her breathing's calm. She might be sleeping. Mr. Yashiki. Hmm? I caught a glimpse. What did you see? I try to keep my tone innocent. The mark. I saw it when we were putting the coat on her. Right there on her body. Oh. So we've added yet another to our number. My heart drops when I think about how I'll have to tell her the truth of what's happening. But that doesn't mean I can avoid it. Well, we'll have to tell her. The truth is always cruel. But using that excuse to hide it from her would be even crueler. I have a name, you know? The mystery woman seemed asleep, but she suddenly speaks up. You were awake? Sorry, we didn't know your name. I'm Madoka Hero. I don't care what happens. All I want is to take a shower as soon as possible. Good work out there, Mr. Yashiki. Madam Yasuoka? Huh? Who's that lady? Later. Hurry and get a bath ready. We lay a pale-faced hero on the sofa and immediately start treating her wounds. With her guiding us, we're able to give her proper first aid. There's a lot of swelling, but at least it seems none of the snakes were poisonous. After we finish, her face gradually regains its color. Hiro emerges from upstairs wearing the clothing we found in the science lab. Apparently, they had been hers. Ugh, I almost died. Thanks for saving me, I guess. Judging by that casual comment, it seems she's recovered her composure. She's still pretty pale, but she doesn't look shaken up anymore. They only wanted to torment me, not kill. Small mercies and all that. Otherwise I would have choked on poison or been snake food by now. Spirits drag the living to the depths of despair before killing them. That's what Mary had told me before. Thanks to that nefarious nature of theirs, she was able to be saved. Um... You sure you're feeling okay? I mean, there was a lot of guts. I mean, a lot. 
Seriously, I... I hate the fact that I have to go back there. Don't worry, I'm fine. I bounce back fast. Who knows if that's true or she's just putting up an act, but... Regardless, her emotional strength is impressive. So, what were you doing at the school? That's what I would like to know. I was chasing after a woman named Manabi Zukawa. I must have fainted. When I woke up, I was there. Zukawa? Zu? Could that be Miss Zu? Miss Zu? Oh yeah, I heard that was her nickname from when she was a teacher. So why were you chasing? Hold up. My questions first. Who are you people? We give her a basic rundown of the situation. She listens quietly, but I can tell from her expression that she's not convinced. I see, I understand. But believing you is something else. You say Zukawa might have become an inhuman monster? Save that talk for writing horror stories. Her face twitches briefly. How is it that you know this, Miss Zukawa? She's a colleague of mine from the lab. Not a lot of women work there, so we ended up talking together. And the second I let my guard down. Sounds like Zukawa caused some trouble. She stole something important from me. At first I had no idea where she disappeared to. I searched a room in the dorm, and I learned where she's holed up. Going off her recent credit purchases, she's been shopping in H-City. What? A spirit that goes shopping? People would panic if something like that appeared in the grocery store. What? Don't tell me you're serious. Wait, I know you. You're Aikashiwagi from Love and Hero. You seemed idiotic on TV, so I guess that just wasn't an act. But, hey, that's really rude. Supposing you're right and she's a monster, no way she'd go out in public. She obviously used the phone. I even checked with the company. A woman's voice asked them to bring the goods to a designated area. Paid in advance with a bank transfer, so the company delivered as ordered. Oh, and the delivery location happens to be a warehouse by H Elementary. And just what were those goods? Animals. No idea what connections she pulled, but they're from pet stores and ranches. Come on. Dogs, cats, pigs, snakes, horses. She even managed to get a reindeer and ostriches. Black market too. Spared no expense. With the Miss Zoo name, maybe she was starting a zoo or something. What happened to those animals? She must not have noticed since she was in and out of consciousness at the time. But based on what we found in the room she was held in, I can hazard a guess. So I waited at the empty hair warehouse for Zukawa to come. At some point, I fainted. Next to no one but naked in that terrible position you found me in. I'm sure she was behind it. So, is that also when you got your mark? Mark? Oh, you mean the scar. I still don't believe it, but even if Zukawa happens to be a spirit... Then I didn't get it from her. I had it before I went to H-City. What? So where'd you get it? Yo, chill. No need to get so upset. 
I suddenly had it when I woke up nine days ago. Did you go to any haunted places the day before? D don't be ridiculous. Don't let me with inappropriate dressed idols like you. The, the same goes for the scar. As if something like this could kill you or give you amnesia. Not only is that unscientific, it's absurd. Absolutely impossible. She's yelling, but that doesn't hide how she's shaking like a leaf. She's clearly more frightened now than when she was talking about the snakes. I guess she has a fear of the supernatural too, just like Sho. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. You're going after Zukao, right? I'll help out. Are you truly alright with that? You might die. I don't plan on letting that happen, but if it does, so be it. I hate the idea that people can be happy by just being alive. I'm a scholar. Life is for satisfying my intellectual curiosity. And for that, I need to get that thing back from that thieving hag. So it's more important than your life. What in the world did she steal from you? Hey, that's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Seems she doesn't plan on answering that. But we've no reason to turn her down. We should accept her help. Okay, Mr. Yashiki. Let's get back to H Elementary. A strange colleague. Yes, you, Hero, because I last ever call, we have a test to take. And you... Uh, I'm really hoping that you can help me out with that. We return to H Elementary once more. If Hero is to be believed, then what we saw in that classroom was Zukawa's doing. The missing teacher, Zukawa. There's no doubt that she had something to do with the birth of Mizu. Let's go. It's unlikely Zukawa is still hiding inside the building. Sounds like Hero is determined to not recognize the existence of spirits. Get rid of the mark, we have no choice. We haven't been able to thoroughly investigate the room where we saved Hero. Probably best to start there. Let's go. First off, there is a lot of things that we need to explore. Starting with the other side of the hallway, because there was the... What was it, the Aizanasura room? With the way the school is laid out, we should be right under the science storage room. That reminds me... There was a strange tag attached to the formalin container. I'm pretty sure it's sand. Great Asura down here. Does that mean the Great Asura is below? Then the tag would be referring to this room. I take a thorough look around the room. There aren't any other suspicious spots here besides the trapdoor to the underground room. Ugh, what are we doing here? I don't see anything. You might be right. It's a wall with nothing on it. By all appearances, it looks normal. I tap around on the wall. I don't know why, but I've seen people in shows do it, and I think that's how you check walls. Hmm? Uh, there's nothing there. It's not super obvious, but... The center portion of the wall seems paler than the rest. If only I had enough skill to be able to tell if it was hollow or not by the sound. The thickness just kind of feels different to me. 
What about it? What should I do? Let's break this thing open. I take out the hatchet, but what should I do? I can't think of a way to use it. Do I need someone else to be here? Fine. You know what? I'll leave and I'll come back later. I imagine that that might be... where I need Kashiwagi. You know, I do know that there is that science room, but I did not explore any of the other rooms, so... The bare floor causes our steps to echo. Alright. S scale. A piano plays somewhere. Uh, a piano? Someone's there. Come out! <laughs> Hero goes to yell, but I quickly cover her mouth. Idiot, don't shout! I still my breath and strain to hear any noises. But it doesn't seem like anyone's here. It was the wind, or water leaking from the roof or something. She's getting angry. The more she denies it, the more pitiful she seems. I don't know if she's strong or weak. Uh, huh? She picks up something off the ground. It's a piece of sheet music. It looks like piano sheet music. Uh, just seeing this brings back bad memories. I was dragged into a music room as a kid. It was traumatic. Alright, anything else here? Looks like thin bulletin boards used to be on the wall, but they were all taken down. Okay, what's on the right? Hmm. The blackboard is covered in dents and scratches. It's probably too damaged to use. Well, this was a huge waste of my time. Anything here? Anything? The door to the music room is locked. Alright. Hmm. There's a scrap of paper among the debris. A worn out talisman. You know, this is the most amount of talismans I've found in all of these chapters, so I get the feeling I'm going to need a lot of time. Eh, there's nothing here, so... I return to the landing with the cracked mirror. I stare into the mirror, recalling how I felt back then. I quickly look away. I shine my light up at the ceiling instead. But there's nothing there anymore. There are no traces of the rose vines of the guard's corpse. What's the matter? No, it's nothing. Just wanted to check something. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I did not realize that I also had a hammer in my inventory. I take out the hammer. And put the flashlight down and grip it with both hands. W wait a second. This could call attention to me. But this is where Hanahiko was. I don't think another spirit would come here. I'll try it just once. I'll take it down in one swing. I gather my courage and swing the hammer against the wall with all my might. And... A large hole, larger than I expected, opens up. I anxiously wait to see if I drew a spirit close. Luckily, it doesn't seem like anything's coming. That went a lot better than I thought it would. 
Man, I can't believe you just did that. Alright, what's in there? I hesitantly stick my hand inside. Something cold coils around my fingers. It seems I stirred up whatever is nesting in there. If I don't deal with that first, I won't be able to check out the hole. Um... A notebook? I take out the red notebook. Um... This thing. I take out the full wrapped bottle and pour its liquid inside the hole. But it's not particularly effective. Um, what about this one? I take out the clear bottle. It's not particularly effective. The shadows inside the hole flail about for a while, but then go back to normal. So I need a fire, is what you're saying. And what better location than the science room? The epicenter of this whole disaster. On the desk scattered with lab equipment is a small pencil and a problem sheet. Are we supposed to fill this out? Uh, let's take a peek at the questions. Take a sidelong glance at the problem sheet. I see what looks like chemistry symbols. Looks like it's a science test. Something's written at the top in messy letters. Remember the experiments. That's right. Found several bottles of chemicals in the storage room. Were those chemicals used in some sort of experiments? Yeah, hmm. Sure, why not? Begin the test. Live or be a failure. Number one, compound A is widely used as fuel or disinfectant. Its chemical formula is CH3CH something OH. What number should X be? Eh, well, that is a tricky question that I do not know the answer to. Well, fantastic. I am stupid. It's probably six. I imagine it would be six. Compound N is an exemplary acid and contains a salt that reacts to various metals. Which statement about compound N is true? Um, it needs a... lightproof container. Ooh, thank goodness. Number three. It stinks when it's thick and fragrant when it's thin. What compound is it? Is it ammonia? I mean, that's the only chemical that I found in that room. Oh, maybe it was... Okay, it might have been indole then. Yay! One... I'm... One out of three. It seems we passed the test. At the end of the answer sheet. The next test is in the room next door. Proceed there quickly, students. Well then. It sounds like there are other tests. Is she testing us? Maybe. I mean, that's what tests are for. But why? I'm concerned, but I don't feel like guessing. More immediate topics should be discussed now that my senses are assaulted. Also... This... thing really reeks. I didn't notice when I was focusing on the test, but the answer sheet stinks terribly. It's a hundred times worse than that notebook. Like a zoo in the dead of summer. 
I shut it tightly in a random pouch of my bag so the smell doesn't spread. Hiro narrows her eyes at me. You sure you shut that good? It still smells terrible in here. Huh? Hiro was right. The smell has definitely gotten stronger instead of weaker. Sorry, old check. I look down to double check my bag. I spot something that looks like a box down on the floor behind the desk. Oh. My instincts realize what it is before my brain does. Hands and feet stick out of the blood soaked cover. Inside the box is. I've got to check them, make sure, but I can't make myself move. Hmm? Did you fi- Stay back! The low, sharp tone that comes out of my mouth startles even me. Just... stay back. I'll... check it. After gathering my courage, I reach out. I pull off the thick sheet. That hat's familiar, and so are the clothes. There's no mistake. It's the corpse of that guard who was hanging from the ceiling with Moe Watanabe. I collapse to my knees. A horrible feeling comes barreling up through my chest. But are you okay? There's... There's a corpse. That's... Where the smell's coming from. Let's get out of here already. I drag myself up woodenly, like a puppet on strings. The classroom next door. The next test is in the classroom next door. Let's go there. Okay. Yeah, let's go. It's best that we stay on task. Hero's probably shaken, but she's putting up a brave front anyway. Even an act like that is helpful at a time like this. After all, there's no time to waste. Whoever carried this corpse here could be looking around the corner. There's a pencil and a problem sheet on the desk. I take a glance at the problem sheet. There are a number of long sentences. Looks like this is a science test. Read the blackboard. The blackboard? I'm supposed to read it? I'm not sure that scribble is really important, but... Okay, let's start the test. This should go by even... hopefully better. Begin the test. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Question one. Believing in the Buddha is important. The Buddha is most extremely Vital. You must believe in. Be incredibly strong. Great. I... The incredibly strong. Great. I... Is like an angel. You must erase the stench of corrupted humanity. And become one with nature. This is called... Something Zen Unity. Well, you know what? This is... This is much easier. Question two. Humanity is the embodiment of pain. They kill other animals. My fellow snakes also spend every day in absolute misery. 
My dear snakes hate this world like they hate the sun and heat. This disaster is called the Critical Age of Decline? Oh, mm, crimson? Okay. Just because everything's red, you know? Question three. I carry the great eyes talisman every day and seek rebirth. The talisman is important. It is a greater treasure than the brain or heart or life itself. This is shown not in words, but deeds. If I walk with the talisman, I will become... Um, uh, a trained Osura? Don't know what that means, but... It seems we've passed the test. At the end of the answer sheet. Next test is two rooms over. Don't enter the classroom next door. It's off limits. Well, that's succinct. I mean, it's a bit too late for that. Ah, so she doesn't want us going in there. That must be why it's locked with wire. Good thing we were able to get her out of there. Now we can freely search the classroom. Okay, so there actually is some dialogue if you happen to do that first. You know what? Idea. I have an idea. I take out all the answer sheets, gather them up, and hold them up to the model. The snakes clearly react to it, but unfortunately that's all that happens. I wonder if it emits some kind of pheromone. What I have now doesn't seem effective. It might be different if I had more of them. Okay, so I have to take all of the tests first before I can come back here. Alright, I'm going to just let myself into this room again. <laughs> Are there even any birds in here? Animal heads are mounted high up on the wall. Usually I can't distinguish animals' expressions, but all of the heads look like they died in pain. It's a desk with a freshly severed animal head on it. Doesn't look like anything's in the desk. I try feeling around inside the desk. I feel something that could be a paper. It's a scrap of paper. I open it and see several sentences. It seems like someone failed to destroy this. Fragment G. We able to find avior of this creature, creature, and something will shown to the fire. The the, this we need. Whoever wrote this has not a lot of grammar skills. I see. It's gross, but this would be a great place to hide something. I steal myself before putting one hand on the head and shoving the other up the severed neck. Who knew an animal head would be this heavy? It's like lifting a bucket of water. <laughs> After much struggling, I tip the head on its side. There's a cream-colored plastic object shoved up the esophagus. Oh, what is that? I pulled it out and find the transistor megaphone. What in the hell? Megaphones are used a lot for school events and gatherings, so that's not surprising. But what the hell was it doing up an animal's neck? Was there a need to hide it in an esophagus? Zukawa did bring countless animals here. Her bizarre insane passion is obvious in this room. Mr. Yashiki, but are you alright? 
I realize that I'm just standing there holding a megaphone that's drenched in yellow liquid. Yeah, sorry, um... This is just incredibly disgusting. Everything has a meaning. If that's true, then this must be really important. The organs strewn around the floor look fresh. Liquid is dripping from the mysterious organs hanging from the ceiling. Hmm. Well, there is nothing else within this room. I'm glad to be done with it. Alright, I'm here for the next test. What have you got for me, Sensei? There's a pencil and a problem sheet on the desk. What have we got here? It's a math test. Alright, hopefully I am better at this. Begin the test. Question 1. An ostrich can run from the first floor of the school to the second floor in three seconds. If the school had five floors, how long would it take to get from the first to the fifth? Alright, so one to two, that's three. So one to two, that's three. Multiply that by four because we're... It's sort of like a ceiling problem, you know? So that is 12 seconds. Question 2. Ostriches are extremely fast. They can run 60 kilometers per hour. How many seconds would it take them to reach a human bait 30 meters away? Alright, so... 60 kilometers per hour, we can divide both by 60 to get... 1 kilometer a minute. You would have to divide that further by another 60 to get it into seconds, so that would be... Uh, convert 1 kilometer to... 1,000 meters, that is, it's like 1.4, 1.44, something around that, right? Wait, oh, uh, wait, hold on a second. That's converting it to seconds, though. So divided by 30, actually, and then we get 3, 3, 0. 0.33, uh, minutes per meter, divide that by 60, um... It's like two. Oof, okay, my. Okay, the math is mathing somewhat, alright? Question three An ostrich's kick. An ostrich's kick is very strong. Without an airbag, a human bait would die. Caution when observing an ostrich, bring an airbag. The specialty is kicking after taking a long running start. If an ostrich's speed is halved, how strong would their kick be? Okay, it's a trick question. I don't know why, I just had a feeling that it was like, it's not one half. Because the speed is half, but for... Uh, God, I wish I remembered all of the stuff I learned in AP Physics and AP Chem. You disobey the teacher, you get a special test. Advance to the animal classroom. Uh, okay. Animal classroom? Ah, oh, that's not that room drenched in blood, is it? Sounds like it. I'm slightly worried about the special part. I hope it's not some weird test. 
But that's probably exactly what it'll be. Okay, well, I really didn't want to go back there because that room is just disgusting. Alright, what have you got? What is this test? Uh, what have we got here? I'll take a glance at the problem sheet. Looks like some kind of foreign language. I can't make heads or tails of it. I have no idea what kind of test it is. Well, I am donezo. But... Freji? The entire test is written in a foreign language. I don't understand what any of it means. Just then, Hero mumbles next to me. Frage 1. Ah, it's in German. Can you read it? I took it in college, so I know a little bit. Begin the test. Oh no, it's starting. It's been a while, but I'll try to read it. You write down the answers. Thank you. Uh, is this gonna be like a history test? I don't know history. Okay, I've never- that's never been my specialty. Multiple choice social studies. It says this is a social studies test. Question one, please answer the following. During the Pacific War, Japan's mainland was bombed, and a shelter was built in each city. Choose the correct period of when the war took place out of the options below. Interesting question, um... You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I hear creepy breathing behind me. Bro is rich. You know, this is going to be a very embarrassing episode, considering that I do not know much about history. And particular dates. Really bad with those. Well, if that is the case... Probably the Showa. And now in hindsight, I should have guessed that. I think that was actually a bit obvious. Even if I don't know my history, like, I can kind of gather the time periods of when stuff happens, right? Japan conducted a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, which started the war against the USA. Which phrase out of the ones below did FDR use to describe the attack? Okay, well, I at least know that one. It is a date which will live in infamy. This is the last one, it's really short. In 1945, when the war ended, which country was allied with Japan? Okay, I feel stupid. I feel really, really stupid now. <laughs> we managed to get through it somehow. Uh, like, the more I think about it... Meh. I'm disappointed that I got that first one wrong. At the end of the answer sheet... There's a test in the last empty room. Go take it immediately. Okay then. Standard test questions. Not particularly elementary level though. I just want to say thanks. No way I would have finished that by myself. It was no big deal. There's one more test. Yeah, in the last empty classroom, apparently. Okay, let's go then. But there's so much stuff. Let's take the test then. 
There's a pencil and a problem sheet on the desk. Music test. Hmm, interesting. I pick up the pencil and turn over the paper. Begin the test. Multiple choice music questions. Let's grade Asura the following questions. Animals can be controlled with frequencies. The experiment was a success. Question one is about snakes. What sound are snakes scared of? Please grade Asura from the following. Well, I mean, I got this megaphone. That one? Okay, well, hmm, it would appear that I'm missing some information. They are fearless. Question two is about pigs. What sound are pigs scared of? Um... Giant fish? Ugh, okay. Question three, seals. Dangerous tools are sealed. Which one is not sealed? Please great us from the following. Well... The megaphone, because I have it in my hand right now. Which one is not sealed? Okay, that makes sense. You know what, I can reason that one. You pass. I got an answer sheet. Pass? Did you just say we passed? Yeah, that's what I heard. But did we pass? We finished every test and passed. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's hurry with our investigation. I have a feeling something is about to happen. Alright. Yeah, I can kind of see what the idea was with that last question. Megaphone. You can quote-unquote seal it by just turning it off. Piano, well, kind of the same idea. Turn the piano off or if it's like a grand piano or something like that. Just close it. That's it, really. Harmonica, you can't really seal that. I return snakes and I bring a peace offering. I take out all the answer sheets I have and hold them close to the model. And... Snake heads poke out from the model. And suddenly slither to the floor. Eek! Uh, are they dangerous? I quickly wad up the answer sheets and throw them through the window to the next room. Snakes chase after them. Soon there are none left inside the model. Ugh. Ugh. What a surprise. I stick my hand in the model and feel around. I find a paper box and a key. Matches in the music room key. 
<sighs> yes, yes, it burns scarlet dawn, half an hour until death closes in. It has that much time passed already? I... I anxiously call out to them. Oh, right. It's almost time to perform. It's okay. I'm on standby. It's starting. We need to hurry and find any clues left. Oh yeah, I guess I should explain that. Uh, I swapped up with I because I... I thought that she was going to have some musical knowledge to lay down for us. But it turns out that that's not the case. She was not useful at all in that music test. Oh, snakes, I have something for you. I take out the matches, light one, and throw it into the hole. A pillar of blue flame shoots out of the hole. The snakes writhe around and vacate the hole en masse. They disappear into the cracks in the walls and beyond the doorway. After the wave of snakes vanishes, I find something on the floor. It must have been carried out of the nest when the snakes fled. I got eyes in Osiris talisman. But... It looked like the snakes brought the talisman on purpose when they fled the hole. Like they were scared of it burning in the fire. Were they trying to protect it from the flames? It must be something really important then. Well... That's about the rest of my investigation, so... I suppose it's time now to confront what perverted person with such... Okay, you know what? We don't kink shame here, I guess, but... Uh, just to be a little bit honest... It's not piano. I check the music stand. There's a piece of sheet music on it. The carp streamer. Alright. This place probably used to be full of desks, but now it only holds a single piano. Okay. We step into the hall and the loudspeaker crackles. Do you have brains? I'll use those wonderful brains now as ingredients and dissect you. What? Did she just say she'll dissect us for ingredients? She'll use our wonderful brains as ingredients and dissect us. And that means... That's why she had us take those tests. She wanted to see if we were worthy enough to become ingredients. Setting up tests to select her prey. That was what Miss Zoo was trying to do. The heads lined up in that blood-stained room. The image of my own head joining them comes to mind more easily than I'd like. So sorry. The road's crowded. I get a hold of yourself. A shake eye. She seems to be dreaming. The markers died a deep crimson. Sunrise. A few minutes left until death closes in. Something's rushing up the western staircase with amazing speed. Crap. I doubt we'll be able to escape. In that case, our only option is to... We'll ambush her. The higher so we can get the advantage. 
I grab Ai's hand and run down the hall. Which classroom should we hide in? Oh, I'd imagine the music room. I mean, it's the only... It was the only thing that didn't have anything in it. I think the coast is clear. Where is that snake going? Miss Zeus smiles and leaps forward the second she sees us come out of the locker. She's coming closer on her ostrich legs. It's like she could jump at us at any moment. Uh, how about... Wait, no, I don't want you to hold it. Um... How about Office Trash and playing some Carp Streamer? Ashki holds the Office Trash. I looks for something to play the song. We have to reach the piano to play the song. We've got to get past Miss Zhu first. We need to do better to distract Miss Zhu or we'll die before we can reach the piano. Miss Zhu dashes and performs a jump kick. It wasn't effective. I hold up the garbage bag in front of us and endure the fierce kick by cushioning the blow. Her arm snakes hiss, threatening us. You know, ordinarily, I... So it's the snakes. Um, not gonna lie, I am at a loss of what to do here. This is the... this is a first for me. Maybe this? A fluorescent wafts from the liquid. Miss Zhu sniffs deeply with her huge nose and seems to enjoy it. We have to reach the piano. We've got to get past Miss Zhu first. We need to do better to distract Miss Zhu or we'll die before we can reach the piano. My vision darkens. I can see the spirit slowly drawing closer. Okay, well, um... Um, how about we put your precious charm in danger? Great Asura, how dare you! Miss Zeus shrieks in rage when she sees the charm engulfed in flames. Okay, well all that did was just make her mad. So first, block the kick. Makes this very ineffective. How very convenient that we happen to just have a pile of trash with us. Okay. Step two. The clear bottle. And the matches. You stretch out your snake arms and I burn you. The snakes are confused by the mass of flames and are unable to aim. Yeah, what is is that like shark teeth? So pig hen with shark teeth. Um Uh No, I ain't gonna lie, I was uh, I guess this maybe it will distract her. Yeah, screw it, let's go with it. We distract her with that, and... Wasn't effective. Flor a flower scent wafts from the liquid. Miss Zhu, Miss Zhu sniffs deeply with her huge nose. She seems to enjoy it. 
is here stuck in place. We can get to the piano now. Ice fingers dance over the keys. Mrs. Zeus stiffens as if she's paralyzed. Alright, um, you know what? This was the other combo. The only other combo that was here. Why not? I tried to ignite Eyes and Osterus Charm with the match. <laughs> Great Osura! Mrs. Zeus shrieks when she sees the charm go up in flames. She clings on to me, scrambling to get it back from me. Pressed together, my sweat squelches as it mixes with her bodily fluids. Gross. You know, I didn't need to have that as a description. Asura Eisen's... Eisen, Asura's charm, disintegrates to ash in Miss Zoo's hands and scatters into the air. Her eyes pin me in place with their intense fury. How dare you! How dare you! Great Asura! The snakes on Mrs. Zoo's arms raise their heads and swiftly strike at their prey. But their fangs sink into. Mrs. Zoo's torso. Why? The snakes are feasting on the places where she touched my skin. Is it because of my human smell? They devour her torso, the only part of her that is human, and she squeals with joy. I... Um, after consuming the host, the snake arms detach and fall to the ground. Wriggling their half-torn bodies, they vanish into the darkness. I am... Um... You know what? I'm glad that I do not have to deal with that pervert anymore. I personally am not into that kink, alright? I don't sense Miss Zoo anymore. Did... Did we do it? I is back to normal. Her mark is probably gone. But as expected, mine is still there. So there are still spirits in the city? The look on my face is probably obvious. I looks at me apologetically. I've gotten used to it, don't worry. I've kind of accepted my fate that I'm going to have this mark forever. I'm just glad you and Yasuoko are safe for now. Mr. Yashiki. Anyway, I wonder what this is. There's a folded paper on the ground where Mrs. Zoo vanished. I open it and find it's an old map. Shining the flashlight on it, the first word that I can see is ARMY. Is this what Miss Hiro said was stolen from her? It could be. I put the map in my bag. Then we finally bid well to the music room and its beast and perfume smell. Oh, wait a second. What is it? I want to bring that sheet music. A reminder of my music beating evil. You know, this would make a great inspiration for a new song. I kinda don't want to linger here. Yeah, yeah, I'll just be two seconds. But, hey! I dishes back inside the music room before I can say anything in reply. Jeez. She totally does whatever she wants. Christy was the same way. Is this what happens when you become famous? No, I'm being unfair. 
Don't tell me. That's... Mr. Yashiki! I burst out of the room and clings to me. What... what happened? Uh, a snake! It fell from the ceiling, hit my shoulder, and slid down my back. She's nearly in tears. G get it off me! Okay, okay. I feel around her back as she hangs on me. There's nothing there. Huh? Nothing's there. You can let go already. When you grab my neck, it's hard to... Oh. S sorry. But I was telling the truth. I definitely felt something. Maybe it fell off as you were running. So, did you grab the sheet music? Oh yeah, that's all done. I'm sorry to make you wait. Madam Yasuoka and Miss Hiro are expecting us, so let's head back. We leave the school, climb into the car, and head to the mansion. Ah, uh, thank goodness this mystery is over. Honestly, the most disgusting one of them all. Hey all, we're back. Oh, welcome back. I believe I must thank you. My mark has indeed vanished. I still have mine, though. I mean, not that I believe that it's going to kill me or anything. It doesn't bother me at all. She talks tough, but the whole time she's clenching her teeth. More importantly, Mr. Yashiki, did Miss Zukawa have anything on her? Uh, you mean this? I pull the old map out of my bag. Yes, that's it. It's an important family heirloom. Hero snatches the map out of my hand without even as much as a thank you. Oh, hmm. I guess you deserve a reward. Here, have this instead. She takes a purple notebook from her coat. The color's different, but the design matches the red notebook we found in the shelter. It's Tsukawa's diary. It was in her room. It looks like she was still sane when she wrote it. I take the notebook from her. It seems Miss Zhu was interested in that map of yours, Miss Hero. Could you tell us more about it? No. It's basically just a treasure map. Well, now I want to know even more. Ah, oh, we should have taken a look earlier. And the clock begins to chime. It's almost dawn. Everyone should go get some sleep. You can use any room on the second floor. Ah, thank you. That would be lovely. Also, I and Yasuoka. You must leave the mansion tomorrow. There's no need for you to stay here now that your mark is gone. Oh dear. Are you telling me to leave you and Miss Hiru here by yourselves? Please don't joke. Saya so specifically requested my assistance. I'm grateful, really. But those who have escaped the mark should return to their normal lives. That's the dying wish of Sayakujo, and Mary's as well. But... Asuoka... I'd like you to help out in another way. I'm sure you know other people in the supernatural phenomenon field. Can you research the mark with your knowledge and connections? An investigation like that is beyond me. I know practically zero about spirits. This is the only thing I can think of. If Mary was still here, it'd be a different story, but... Yasuoka stares at me silently. 
I stare right back into her eyes, not turning away. Uh, fine. I'll leave the legwork to the young. I'll do what I can to help. Besides, if I stayed behind, I'm sure Miss I would want to as well. I'm counting on you. Of course, I won't let you down. Your voice and posture exude confidence and reliability. I'm sure it's a good part of why she's so successful as a fortune teller. However, I shall rest for today. These old bones are exhausted. Good night. Mr. Yashiki. I sure you'll be okay without me and Madam Yasuoka. Yeah, I've survived this long already. I'll manage somehow. Unease is bubbling up within me, but I push it down and force a smile. I can't let her worry about me. Okay, then I'll trust you. But you better promise me. When your mark is gone, you'll come to one of my concerts. Promise? Hey, um... Okay... <laughs> you better. Okay, I'm heading up. Good night, Mr. Yashiki. Jeez. So you're saying I have to stay? Not that I care. I thought you didn't believe in the Mark's Curse because it's unscientific. <laughs> of course, there's no way in hell I'd believe something like that. But, it's also true that I haven't found solid proof to deny it either. And Miss Ya- Oh my god. Miss Yasuoka and Miss Ai's marks really did up and disappear. So I've decided to stay here and see how this plays out. That's all. It's the truth. I can see she's desperately trying to hide that she's terrified of the supernatural. Oh, well. I owe you for saving me, so I'll tell you a bit about it. It could be related to the mark somehow, too. Why, are you talking about the map? Yeah. It's of an underground shelter in H City. The only way Zukawa found that shelter was because of this map. Not sure why she'd be eager for an old map of facilities that have to be 50 years old. That's a secret. It's just... It's possible that... Whatever turns Yukawa into a monster is down there in that shelter. What? What do you mean? I've already told you that I have no intention of giving you any details. I'm tired to... So I'm going to bed. Hiro makes her way upstairs to the rooms. The end of her last conversation swirls around in my head. The shelter. Army. Sukawa transforming. And the deja vu I felt down in the shelter. What does it all mean? It's no use. My brain is so tired that the words are just repeating nonsensically over and over. I can't get my thoughts in order. I may as well go to bed for today. Go to the next chapter with talk. Hmm, before that... I look through the diary Hiro found in Zukawa's room. It alters thoughts from her human days, and offers glimpses into the events that led up to her transformation. It starts with a recollection of her childhood. She repeatedly asked her parents and teachers why she was human. Soon, her peers shunned her. Zukawa was exceedingly intelligent, 
but hated people. On the other hand, she loved animals, gathering many and keeping them hidden while she cared for them in an abandoned house. To her surprise, she eventually fell in love with someone. But when she confessed, he said he didn't like people who reeked of animals. That night, the abandoned house burned in fire. The diary never mentions the cause of the fire, but I remember something about a fire in... Oh right, Zagawa's red notebook. The school science lab, her paradise with her beloved animals, also burned down in a fire. That's a weird coincidence. The diary moves past her youth to her time as a researcher after she left the school. That's when she and Hiro worked at the same place. I hate people. She wrote that every day. The hatred solidified when she met M.H. M.H. is probably Hiro. She pretended to get along with her colleague, but the diary lays out her overwhelming hatred of people, especially Hiro. The only interest she took in Hiro's biological research work was the human experiments to enhance human abilities and strength. She decided to corroborate every questionable human experiment, even saying she would be a test subject herself. There's no mention of where she learned all this information, but there are some familiar scribbles at the end of the diary. Army. Manhole. Underground shelter. MH's map. Asura. I bet MH's map is the one Tsukawa stole from Hero of the shelter. The woman in white with a Buddha statue. Zukawa going in and out of the shelter. Something in there must have turned her into Mizu. Aizen Asura. It must connect the statue somehow. The diary ends with these words. The previous world war. With the Buddha's wisdom, I'll no longer be an abhorrent human. Body and soul. Barriers broken. Open the door into a new world. Well, but those are just the ramblings of a nutty pervert. And with that, that is the end of this chapter. Mary isn't here anymore. Should I rest for today? I decide to rest now.